So Brenda O'Neill for Skywalker Logan representative. Uh, tell us about Skywalker Logan then. Obviously hit the scene, broke the track record in the first round. Since then, fair to say it's been a bit hit and miss from the boxes and stayed on. Yeah, he got, he got in counter trouble the second night he ran here and the clip from behind us said he ran on the way to an unbelievable run that night. The way the track was running, the track seemed to be running very well that night. And, you know, he, he still qualified every night. He ran great, ran his heart out. He was only fifth from off the last spend two weeks ago. And he motored up the home straight, showed phenomenal pace on the home straight to qualify. And um, fantastic to be there. It's great, you know, and delighted for the honour of Ray Patterson. Great man, he puts life and soul into dogs and, and, and buys great dogs. And, you know, he's a, great, a fantastic owner and a gentleman, you know, and lovely to have dogs from him and a great friend of mine. Can Logan win it from track four? Of course he can, any of them can win it. Hopefully he, hopefully he can come out and go to the event a little too in front, but you never know. And everyone in finest have a chance and it's, it's fantastic to be there. You know, um, Bale, Bale is probably, I don't know, I still think Bale is strong well on the fence, but you never know. Like I said, anything can happen in the final. You know what, what will trap out and go around the bend in front and game on then. On his Irish card, Logan has plenty of very quick ways and quick away. Mm. He hasn't always shown that at Nottingham, but if he does have to come from off the pace in the final, they'll be looking over their shoulder, won't they, oh, the front doesn't. runners? Without a doubt, without a doubt, like he can, like he proved in Cork, he can really go to the bend. He probably just lacks that, that year or two into the bend, maybe pace wise. Um, but uh, he's, he's been he's been a great dog, a great boy for, for Ray. Uh, Pat recommended him. He, he ran the Casper Stake in Torlough, the 28.63, and not many dogs do that kind of runs around Torlough. He showed it from the start. He's the only dog to break 28 sec eight seconds in Shelburne last year, and. You know, he's, he's, he's been a great dog, and, and, and he's, I said he's a great constitution dog to stay going. He's on the go since last November constantly, and he's won three or four competitions, and you know, please God, next Saturday night will be another one. And for Patrick Gilfoyle, he's achieving so much so young, isn't mm. he? What does it mean to him to be in an English dog fight? Oh, sure, he's over the moon, Pat. You know, he's, he, he, he's a great family-run biz business. Um, his mother, Alice, Dan, their Sandra, Emer, Tony, his brother, they're all, all hands on deck and they've, they've great great help there as well with a couple of other chaps they're working for him in the kennel and that. So um great great family, they put their life and soul into dogs and I'm delighted for them and and they achieve, they deserve every every everything they get because they, they put their life and soul and set into the greyhounds and they're a lovely family. Well I hope you all enjoy it every minute and good luck on Saturday. Thanks very much, Julie. Thank you.